We're going to set up and solve a set of linear equations with Excel. There's going to be these equations right here, four equations and four unknowns. And we're going to, with this hint right here, we're going to use this M inverse and M mult to do the matrix inverse and matrix multiplication. We're essentially going to be solving um, a set of equations like this, AX equals B. And we'll do that by just doing the A inverse times B. So we first of all just need to put this into an AX equals B form. So that's going to be X1, X2, X3, and X4. And I'm just going to put in the non-zero values here. I'll do 1, 2, and I have some zeros right here. And then this is going to be equal to the B vector right there. So there's our B, here's our A, and here's our X. Uh, let's just go ahead and fill the rest of these in. Uh, we've got, um, let's see, this one's a little bit tricky. You've just got to put the 5 here. We're going to move this one to the left-hand side, so it's going to be negative x2. And then we're going to have a positive x1 and then a 0. And let's see, we have no x1 and x2 in this equation. We have a negative 3 and a positive 1. Oops, I forgot the right-hand side here. Uh, let me put a 5 here. I'll put a 10 right here, a negative 15. I've got to move that to the right-hand side. And then I'm going to put a bunch of 1s right there with a 0. OK, so now we want to take this matrix right here, and in, we're going to solve this with Excel. So we're going to solve this set of linear equations um, with Excel. Make that just a little bit smaller. OK, and make this one just a little bit bigger. OK. All right, so here's our A matrix right here. And I'm just going to put in 1, 2, 0, 0, and uh, then 5, oops, uh, 5, negative 1, 1, 0, OK. And uh, 0, 0, negative 3, 1, and then a bunch of 1s right there. Let me put in my B vector as well. OK, that's going to be 5, 10, negative 15, and 0. Okay, if you want to put a box around them, you can as well. Um, okay, I've got uh, these in here. You can uh, put this uh, thick border around it just to show uh, where the matrix is located. Okay, there we have. Um, okay, so we're going to do the uh, A inverse, first of all. And we're going to select a region where it's going to go. So you've got to get a 4x4 four four region and do equals M inverse. And then we'll come up here, hit the shift key to select that region. Or you can do it with the mouse, uh, end parentheses, and then do control shift enter. And that's going to give you your matrix inverse. And then we want to multiply A inverse times B. I'll just move this one. Uh, down here just so we can have those uh, next to each other. Okay, so we're going to do A inverse times B, and that's going to be our answer. So we're going to select this whole region right here, and we're going to say equals to, and then we're going to do M mult. So we're going to multiply two matrices together. The first one is going to be this A inverse. Okay, comma, and then we're going to do the B vector as well, and hit Control Shift Enter. Okay, so that gives us our answer for the linear solve. We've solved these four equations, and these values right here will satisfy each of those four equations. So you could go back in and plug those in. Um, you know, we could uh, add those up. Uh, the fourth equation says we can add those up, and they should equal zero. Um, so let's just go ahead and add those up. One times each of those. Okay, so it does equal zero. It satisfies that last equation. And you can also check it with the other ones as well.